All right, this is going to be a bit of a nerdy video, but it's going to be class, and we're going to go through a couple really important things. So obviously, the title of the video is why base training is really important, and I'm going to show you why riding at zone two, zone one helps you make crazy, crazy gains. So we're going to go through my training. You might find this interesting, you might not, but it's basically how I managed to get from like, you know, th uh, like threshold of like maybe 290 to like 310, 320, pretty quickly um, in a very short amount of time. So the first part is like, this is my first FTP test for quite a long time. So I did like, I did, well, I did one, I got 297. Um, and then I basically did one three weeks later of training, but obviously I crashed and stuff. So I was really unfit um, compared to what I was. So I did my first actual one was like 307 watts uh, for 20 minutes. Um, and the one before that three weeks earlier was 297. So like 10 watt increase in three weeks. So obviously that's pretty impressive, but like, to be expected because I was pretty unfit at that point. Like for reference, last year my 20 minute power is 350, so obviously it's quite a long way off. Um, so anyway, that was like my first 20 minute test, um, and th this was on April the 6th. So obviously we were on lockdown then, and so I had uni online, so I could ride really consistently. But if you look at my training, like there, were, okay, there was some a couple threshold efforts a week, um, but all the rest zone two, real easy zone two, um, like not tempo zone two, not like mid zone two, like low zone two, just cruising around. Um, and you'll see like my rides were just generally pretty easy. Um, like these were all real chill. Like that was quite a hard session to be fair. I did two night normalized, but most of it's pretty chill. Um, I then had exams and stuff. So we'll sort of skip through all of this because I basically didn't train for about four weeks, which wasn't ideal. Um, but anyway, then we got back on it after exams. You can still see like obviously I was doing efforts and stuff at threshold, but nothing like crazy, nothing like absolutely destroying myself. Um, so anyway, that was, that was good. Um, and then I did my next FTP test, um, uh, which then was, um, again, like not a huge increase, but an increase nonetheless. Um, it was 311 Watts. So like a five watt increase, but obviously I did, I didn't pace as well. I did 320 for the first 10 and slightly blow up. So I probably could have got slightly higher, but anyway, it was like five watt gain. Um, and I sort of had a four weeks training and then four weeks off, um, which wasn't ideal. Uh, but so now we're now here on June, July the 6th, sorry. Um, so at the moment you're like, okay, you try your trainings, bit shit. You've been doing loads and loads of Ks, basically riding full time and you gain five walks in three weeks. It's like, yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But what you'll see is that like, okay, we kept on training. Like, um, these were big weeks. Um, I was working, but I was only working like four days on, four days off. So I could do some real fat hours. Like these ones here obviously were efforts. Like Tuesday was generally efforts. You can see, um, and then that's like five hours zone two, uh, six hours zone two. Um, obviously day off, more efforts, and then like three hours, like chain tight ish. Again, this was like efforts, but again, not crazy hard efforts, just like threshold, but not like, you know, three times 20, just like four times 12 with a slight un over unders. Like, obviously that sounds quite hard, but it it's not like you're dying. It's not like VO2 where you're like cr killing yourself. Um, so then they did five hours, six hours, tried to do seven hours, couldn't do it, but you can see like, it's pretty easy training. Um, Anyway, then I slightly overtrained, couldn't do an FTP test, then went away for a bit. So anyway, we'll then come back to basically the next time I did an FTP test, which again, like these are the sort of efforts. I'll go through them now. They were like basically under overs, but just long time ones. You can see like 286, 292, um, 288, like so nothing crazy really. Um, and these were... These were the same as well. So you can see like my training wasn't super hard. Here was like 300 watts, 300 watts. Obviously they're over under, so the normalized is always a bit higher. So we like 310 normalized, but nothing crazy. Um, and then this was one of my climbs that I did. It was like a 28 minute effort. I did like, it says 300 normalized for 28 minutes, which, which wasn't too bad. So that was showing my threshold had gone up. And I did a 20 minute test here, but then got interrupted rudely by some roadworks. But we were on for like 320 and you might say, oh, you only did 317 for like 12 minutes, 30. It's like, yeah, that's true. But you can still see it's like a five, six watt increase. So like nothing crazy, you know, from April to like July, you've been like, this is rubbish, Charlie. From April to July, you gain like, so August, sorry, end of August, you gained 11 watts. Like that is horrendous. Um, and like I could go through the zone two adaptions, but I don't think they're very interesting. So I'm not going to do that because... Like that is pretty obvious. Um, like the adaptions basically ride the same power, heart rate lowers. So that that happens with zone two. Um, but what I want to show you is the gains that I made. Um, 
when I started doing VO2, uh, when I really started doing like top, top high intensity stuff. So you can see I started doing intensity. So I had a fat week um, again with the boys up in the Lake District. So that was good fun. Um, that was a 617 kilometer week. Um, so again, like 20 something hours, which I know is like for most people is impossible. But obviously, like I'm assuming um, I either work four days on, four days off. So I have time on four days off to ride full time. Or at the moment, I'm just going full time on YouTube, which basically means I can ride full time. Um, so I know it's not possible for everyone, but what my point is, is that when people say zone two is useless, my, my point is it's not, because this is exactly why, uh, sorry, my, my camera is slightly high in some of the thing. Um, okay, we'll go through the six minute intervals first. Okay, so the first week of six minute intervals, 324. So this is roughly what my thresholds are saying, like, you know, try and do it at 317 to 320. So basically do it like that. Um, I managed to do four, the average watts, it's easy if we just go lap format, you can see 324, 325, 318, 314, so again, nothing crazy, so we'll get rid of that one, uh, and then we can see the next week, so Thursday the 10th September, so 10 days later, I think it was, oh no, nine days maybe, you'll see we did the proper intervals, six, six minutes with a 30 second sprint at the end, 30 second sprint was done at like sort of 360-ish, um, but again, you can see I did one extra, 327, 330, 331, 333, 336, so that's really big. Like that's, these are done at 105% of FTP. So that would mean, you know, my FTP is getting close to 317. And that was what my 20 minute power was. So you can see the gains are mental. Um, we're then gonna go into my my three minute intervals. And again, like this is my point is that you do zone two because you can make the adaptions. You lay the, the, the groundwork, you get the capillarization as people like to say in the legs. And it allows you to make the gains that you can do super quick. And this is why pro riders, they do zone one, zone two, all throughout winter, no worries. And then they do a little bit of racing and the adaptions they make. Obviously, genetically, they're unreal as well. But the adaptions they make, and a lot of people, like, they don't do more intensity. It's like, because obviously a lot of their races are really long. But my races are really short. I'm doing hill climbs. But the adaptions you can make. So this week was, like, three-minute intervals, 356, 357, 360, 361, 53. So, like, okay, decent. But the next week you'll see was way, way, way better. Um, like 363, 361, 359, that was a bit softer, and 362. So like they had gone significantly higher, and this was with more fatigue as well. Like it wasn't, they weren't comparable either. So that's my point. Uh, and then the last one was also my my um, 3015s. I showed these earlier. So these are my, like first time I was ever doing 3015s. When I previously did 330 watts, it was when my FTP was like 330. And like, you know, I just done these off the bat and I could do that. So again, it shows you that it, the zone two just makes the gains. You do the VO2 after the zone two and you just fly. And then we've got um, some pretty solid intervals here. So I hadn't done any like one minute 30, one minute intervals, anything sub three minutes. I'm like, right, I'm, I, you know, obviously nationals is two and a half minutes long. So I'm like, I need to do some short intervals. Um, I generally find minute and a half intervals match up to like three minute, four minute climbs, something in between there, um, the sort of power you do. So first one, four or nine, nothing crazy. They were supposed to be done at 400 watts, according to my FTP. But obviously, I think I should probably change that. Uh, this was then 440 or 435, 438, 430, and then 421. Uh, sorry, that's the wrong interval. 440. Um, 421. I was going to do a max effort the whole way, but gave up. But anyway, so we'll, we'll ignore the last one because that was a bit soft. I probably could have banged out another 420 out there. Um, but if we look at this, this is like this time last year, actually further on the hill climb season, this was actually like quite late in October. And, you know, these was like, this was like the third or fourth time I'd done these efforts. And you can see 430, 450, 440, 450. So that seems pretty impressive. But the next one was 400, 435, 416, 48. So, okay, maybe they were similar efforts. This one might have been slightly better. But my point is that this is like come straight after the first time I've done them. And my numbers are almost like, okay, not 100% accurate, but very close to when I was like mid hill climbs, like October the 9th. It's the 26th now. So you might say 10 days or like a bit more than that isn't too significant in hill climbs. It was like two weeks because it's five days to the end of the month and another nine, so five weeks. So two weeks, 14 days. But in hill climbs, you know, if I do another two of these sessions, the gains you make are really, really big because they're so specific. And this is my point. My point is that you do the zone two so that you can make the adaptions really, really quickly. So that my VO2, like we can, we can even just compare it on my first race and my last race. The first race I did was 380 watts um, for like 
five minutes, I think it was. Um, yeah. And then the one I did recently, okay, it wasn't, um, I probably could have gone harder. We, we'll go through it. We, we've already been through this again, but it was like 390 watts for like six minutes. So even then it's like another minute gained, another 10 watts. And at that sort of duration, that's quite a lot. And that again is the, the gains are just coming so quickly. And I'm quite smug about this because obviously whenever you make gains, it's really, really nice. And, you know, and like I put that down to the massive base I was doing, like the kilometers I was doing. Um, I mean, you can see like they're not huge now, but they were huge, like 675, 40, 600 kilometer weeks, 20 hour weeks. Um, and they really help. Obviously, some people are going to say, oh, yeah, but Charlie, like you had a really high fitness level in, in the past. Like obviously, you know, last year in 2019, sorry, like my FTP was like, what, 333 at 61 kilos. So like, that's pretty decent. It's not unreal, but that's five and a half watts per kilo ish. So like people are going to say, well, yeah, obviously you want to make gains quicker. And I think, yeah, that probably is true. But then I'd say that would also be true at my threshold level, but I didn't really make many gains on threshold. Really? Like, okay, maybe I wasn't as consistent. I think that that probably is a good point. I wasn't as consistent because I had uni work. Well, since uni, like... But even then, like after uni, I was being pretty consistent. But I still just couldn't really get as many gains. I think that also goes to show that the polarized method where you spend a lot of time at zone two and VO2 really does help. Um, but I think in general, what it shows is that having a really big base does help. You can shortcut that. You can do more zone three to uh, like, you know, obviously shorter duration, but more zone three. You might do a two and a half hour ride and spend like an hour at zone three. Yeah, that's going to make good gains as well, for sure. But there's nothing you can't really, in my opinion, at least substitute the big, big Ks. Um, and that's why I really rate them. Uh, and that's why you might think there's no point doing them for hill climbs. And from my evidence, I'd say I strongly disagree. Um, because in 2018, I did acquire a lot of Ks beforehand, but not as many and not as structured as I did this year. Um, and definitely, like, I could tell that the gains this year are easier. And also, I think, like, because the, you're used to doing, you know, here, like 600 kilometer weeks, you suddenly go to 400 kilometer weeks. And like, you just feel like the intent, you feel your legs feel a lot fresher. So the intensity is a lot easier. Like if you look at these, like I'm not even doing easy rides. Like the shortest ride I do in a week is maybe an hour and a, like 40 minutes because my body's used to so much duration and volume that it's fine. But then I can really whack the efforts, like really, really go for it. And I think that has helped me. Um, quite a lot this year um but yeah uh thanks for watching this i really hope this helps you with your training obviously if you've got any questions about my training or anything else just let me know um obviously link to strava is below um we've got a race tomorrow that i'm really really pumped about obviously last two, last weekend was a bit annoying like i messed it up um but we've eaten well today on saturday um races tomorrow make sure you have a big bowl of rice tomorrow morning was a smoothie um and then obviously gel and stuff um and not back not too much caffeine before like, um, and then hopefully it's a four minute three, th the K, the course record is like 346. So I'll probably be like four minutes ish. Um, and I really, really want to try and do like a good, good watts. Uh, I'm hoping for seven, seven watts per kilo, maybe a bit more. Uh, I think if I could do that, I'd be really, really happy because, um, obviously it's still relatively early on in the hill climb season. Um, and I think my best last year for a three minute climb was 450 in 2018. And I'd really hope to get, you know, maybe 420, 430 tomorrow. That'd be, that'd be really, really good if I could do that. Because uh, that would show that I'm on track for similar numbers to 2018, hopefully better numbers. I think, well, we just talk about nationals for a minute. I always do this. I sign off the video and then keep talking. Uh, but yeah, nationals obviously is very short. Um, I did 480 for 240, 250 last year, 2018. I keep saying last year. That's the last time I did hill climbs properly. Um, and this year, I'd really, really hope to be able to crack 500 for 2 minutes 30. Um I mean, I haven't even cracked 500 for two minutes, but I think it's definitely possible. Um, annoyingly, a lot of the two-minute hill climbs around here have got cancelled. Um, VC Walcott got cancelled, Bath Hill Climb got cancelled, Chew Stoke, Chew Valley CC got cancelled, and SAS got all got cancelled, and they're all like two minutes long. Um, so I'm probably gonna do a couple like pirate hill climbs where me and my mates just go out um, and just pretend it's a hill climb. It sounds a bit lame, but like in you know, I think it's it's quite good because two minutes are really hard to empty yourself. Um, and hopefully, on one of those, I can crack 500. Um, and then obviously, um, before nationals, you always have a good taper. You're super motivated on the day and stuff. So hopefully we can get a good result. Um, I don't I'm not going to define what good result is. Last time I came 64, so we did ban that. I'll be all right. I mean, obviously that sounds pretty average and it is, um, but it doesn't really suit me that much. These two minute climbs, I much prefer a longer eight minute climb ish. That's probably my sweet spot. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching 
and we'll see you in the next one.